the best places for retirees and expats to live in 2020. This is Digital Nomad News. Hello and welcome to Digital Nomad News, your source for breaking news on technology, remote work, and travel. I'm your host, Kristen Wilson, and today we are filming in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. In our top story today, more than 20,000 people from 182 different countries participated in the sixth annual Expat Insider Survey. This study is one of the world's largest and most comprehensive surveys on life abroad. This year, Taiwan, Vietnam, and Portugal took over the top three spots across categories including quality of life, ease of settling in, personal finance, working abroad, and family life, the category that Finland won. There were winners in all categories. For example, Finland won the top spot on the Family Life Index, while Bulgaria, one of my personal favorites, won for their combination of a low cost of living with a high quality of life. In the loser round, Cyprus, Costa Rica, and South Korea were the lowest ranked countries around the world for expats, which is very interesting as these are much loved countries by digital nomads. To read the full report, check out the links in the description below. In related news, Portugal took the top spot on International Living's 2020 Global Retirement Index. Portugal is on a roll this year. The destination dominated categories including climate, housing, cost of living, and healthcare. International Living correspondent Trisha Pimental, who has been living in the country for nearly seven years, raved about the benefits of living in Portugal, saying, quote, safety, quality affordable health care, a relaxing lifestyle, a rich history and culture, savory cuisine, geographic diversity. You'll discover all of these elements and more in Portugal on about a third of your current budget. She says that for people with an income of $2,500 to $3,000 per month, Portugal offers an optimal balance of quality of life with a moderate cost of living. For more on living in Lisbon, you can check out my video, Lisbon for Digital Nomads, and my recent podcast interview with Dave Williams, the founder of Nomad X, which is a housing portal encompassing all of Portugal. To read the full report on all 24 countries, check out the link in the description below. In world news, remote work comes to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has launched the second phase of its remote work program in an effort to bring together companies and job seekers around the country to increase stability and independence for more than 1 million people. The program is being applauded by business leaders across the nation for helping job seekers and also for helping companies find potential employees for hard to fill specialized positions. The program is also said to be benefiting the disabled and other people who are unable to take location-dependent jobs. Says the Saudi Minister of Labor, quote, many companies depend on knowledgeable economies and e-commerce to grow their business, which makes them hire online freelancers from around the world. He says that remote work will give Saudi citizens an opportunity to earn an income from a distance while enabling them to increase their skill set. He hopes that the program will encourage companies to hire Saudi nationals rather than international online freelancers. Last but not least, he also says that the program should increase income for part-time workers. The new remote work program in Saudi Arabia is part of an effort to bring the unemployment rate down to 7% by 2030. Here at Digital Nomad News, of course, we applaud any effort by any government around the world to introduce remote work to their economies, and we wish the Saudi Ministry of Labor the best of luck. That's all we have for this week's show. Let us know, do you agree with the outcome of the International Living and Expat Insider Surveys? 
Where do you want to live in 2020? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, make sure to subscribe. Share this episode with all your tech and travel savvy friends. We're here every week on youtube.com slash digital nomad and traveling with Kristen. Ciao for now from freezing but beautiful downtown Vancouver.